This is a patient of severe pulmonary arterial hypertension with right heart failure with tricuspid regurgitation, severe tricuspid regurgitation. What you are seeing here is this is the external jugular vein. And this is the internal jugular vein pulses. Internal jugular vein pulses. If you focus, it is up to the ear lobe, to the upper part of the neck. Now I am identifying the internal jugular vein. You can see the collapsibility. This is a collapse. This is a negative wave. Sometimes JVPs are identified by the prominent negative wave that that will obliterate your confusion between a carotid artery and JVP pulsation. Secondly, if I compress the root of the neck, you can see the pulsations will be gone now. Now the pulsations are gone, confirming that it is jugular venous pulsation. Again, I reach, you can see, and you can see the prominent collapse. When I auscultate, this negative wave is coming after the first heart sound towards the second heart sound. This negative wave is towards the second heart sound. That is a wide descent. And the prominent wave, positive wave, what we are seeing is a CV complex. You can see the collapse of it. And ideally, how to identify the JEP <coughs> pulsations are if this negative wave coincides with the first heart sound, it is the X descent. If it coincides with the second heart sound, that is a wide descent. So it is a CV complex and large wide descent in a case of severe trichostomy.